Hi there, and thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to give these a, give these a flip through. <laughs> if you've been watching since, oh crikey, I think the series started on Thursday. It's been seven parts. It's been from start to finish, um, you know, thought processes and, and all the rest of it. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, pretty intense filming it like that. But um, yeah, the one that I did before, I just did, um, you know, a small a small version of. So I thought I'd, I'd get a big tutorial out. So uh, we've got two uh, bird journals and they're made from envelopes and let's get the ruler out they are nine by six and a half so they're both <coughs> very similar um so i'll give this one a flip through first so i've just uh tied it with some jute because i just felt as if it, that went well with it um i did all manure about ribbon and i put ribbon against it and it it didn't go as well as the string did that's what i'm trying to say so this is a envelope and i've put one of those uh side page tabs on what i made um with rachel from roxy creations her weekly challenge and i've put a, a book plate on there which is from a kit from nanine and this is scrapbook paper then um this is um well, this is a frame as you can see it's a sticker um and they was from aliexpress and these birds here was from uh this paper pack oh nothing's gonna come out is it obviously um this paper pack which is called uh, nature's gallery and um it's out of print now um but i did manage to find it uh with somebody de-stashing it uh so <clears throat> that bird's from there. It was like a die cut pack. I think it was like an A4, about four pieces. Um, and then I managed to get hold of a 12 by 12 um, scrapbooking and an A4 scrapbooking paper. So, and it's really beautiful. Anyway, this is a jumbo uh, card. It's backed and we've got a nice uh, window envelope here. Just got the big full... Uh, window on I've not put a pocket at the back of this one um, I've brought the lace uh, across there it's a nice thick lace and then we've just got the lace um, there I, I decided not to put anything um, on the front I think this paper's far too too nice I did um and ah uh, and then um and ah uh, but I went I went against it and I'm glad I did so here we've just got um, a side pocket i think i made that on it was either the roxy challenge or the dd uh farrago ugh, hashtag 2021 i think all the pieces are either from the rachel challenge or um the dd farrago so i'm gonna stop saying <laughs> where i made them so we've got this vellum uh pocket double pocket there's just two kit papers uh kit Oh, kit pieces uh, I think they're from Ephemera's uh, garden and I've got a little book plate there and a bird sticker and then we've got a tag here I think that's from the old design shop um, this paper what I made the pocket out of is um, <clears throat> paper from Lorna that Taylor made journals and that's a tim holtz stamp and then we've got a postage stamp and some um i want to call it checkered um yeah you know that kind of pattern uh this is a pocket which um goes through to the back i forget what you call them again that's from that paper uh pad and so is this frame and it's on some lovely uh music paper got a label there and then just some trim again that's from that paper pad and then we've got a lovely collage tag here I do oh, I need to glue that down um i do love making those kinds of collage um cards especially with birds um this was in the rocks challenge and so was this this is actually fabric um 
that's not that's cut out from from a book and i've got some ticking at the top i think that they were some tabs that i made i think i made them in the challenge and then this lovely pocket I'll definitely be making uh, this pocket again and this one and that one. <laughs> um, yeah, some things you make and you think, oh, yeah, it was all right, but I'm never making it again. Um, little cluster there, what was sent to me. Uh, this was starting to rip a little bit, so I did um, patch that up so it's nice and strong. And I've reinforced the music paper. Just popped that there. And then we've got this lovely book page. And some washi tape down there. Then just some stamping. I kind of mixed blue and brown together. And down there. This is a decoupage. So it's the Tim Holtz paper. Then we've got that. Um, oh, this is from the Tina's Mass Mates. Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Da. So that's that one. Then we've got um, another tab here and then that's a tim holtz as well kit paper uh, the kit papers are from nanine a college type this is from nanine put a little pocket and a tag both from uh, nanine uh, nanine's got two bird kits two brownie um, bird kits um, again like stamping got a book page a kit page a lovely pocket here with a snippet on and that's from a kit but I can't tell you which one um I think that's a bird from the Edith Holden um stamps that I've got but if you watch this the series you'll you'll know I don't know why I'm telling you some more stamps and a little stamp up there and then a, a little uh book plate type thing there that's from Nanine stamping that is um from the same uh paper i stopped doing that paper um brand oh, which i forgot what it is kit paper some stencil um, and some more stencil in this lovely doily really love these doilies and then this is kit paper and i've done this on 200 gsm card and i've just put two pockets in that's um, from Ephemera's Garden. And these are from a Roxy Challenge, what I did. So that goes into that. It's just been sewn in. Three whole pamphlet stitch. Uh, kit paper. One of the beautiful uh, journal cards that I made with the forget-me-nots from my grandma's garden. So stamping and stenciling. That again is from the Forget Me Nots and this is from a Roxy Challenge. Love that. And this stamping image behind. Kit page, the other side of that book. Some stenciling. Um, a little snippet here with a card. Again, that's from Ephemera's Garden. Um, the other side of that. Kit page. Um, this lovely fold out, which I do think that this was from uh, Tina. Have I stuck this down? Hmm. Yeah. I need to obviously rectify that. I hope I can rectify it. Anyway, that uh, should pull out. Let me just pause, see if I can undo it. Oh my goodness, I had to do a quick repair job there. Um yeah, I'd stuck it stuck it down, but not on purpose. Um that the glue must have leaked. So I will uh, glue that down after I finish filming it and then I've had to repair it there. But it, it just adds to it now. Luckily I didn't rip uh, the page underneath. I'd have been very upset. So that's that and I made that on a Tina's um mass make. And then that's from uh, Crafts by Kelly. Uh, that's a little cut out from Nanine's kit. I think it's the blue and white fussy cut. And then the other side of the Tim Holtz. Some stenciling. I've inked all around the pages. This is a lovely page from, from a book called The Painted Garden. It's the other side. But uh, <clears throat> I'd made this originally as like a, a cluster 
Um, and then a little tag that's from Nanine's kit and that's from the paper pad and that's from Pink Monic Prints. And then at the back, um, I, I can't remember, oh I think this was a, a DD Farrago. So that goes like that, so you've got writing space both sides. <laughs> I love this. And then um, I think I'd originally made it as a <laughs> as a side tuck rather than a middle of the page. And then I've put another collaged uh, journal card in there. That's the other side um, of that. And oh, second malfunction. Honestly, I went through everything. Well, I obviously didn't. And then that's uh, another collage card that I made. It's a good job you do flip throughs because um, it's surprising because I had gone through it a couple of times. So this is a pocket. It's got um, a card from Prima. So that goes like that. We've got another one of those beautiful fabric. And I think this is out of the bird kit. And then I've just put a, a faux stamp on it. So that lives in there. I just wanted something quite flimsy just, just so it'll poke through. Got some lovely collage there. And then that's the back. So I'm just going to pause and get ready to do uh, the second one. I'll be quicker going through that one. Okay, the second one. Oh, I'm going to sit down for this. It quite hurts your back uh, standing, standing up. So again, we've got the lovely lace at the back and the front, obviously. Um, and I've just tied this jute string around. You can shorten it if, if you want. So we've got the thing there. That's a big card. That one's all been sewn around. Some lovely um, collage around there. We've got this side pocket with a couple of uh, bits of ephemera and then that's the front cover. This is the vellum pocket again. Those two and that one. And I've just put some string at the top. That's from, oh, that's not from Lorna's shop. <coughs> I forget who that's from. Um, that's one of the pieces from the paper pad. Got the lovely uh, collage tag card, journal card. I'm going to stick his little beak down. They do, you know, I don't know why I put them in like that. Why don't we do them like that? I think it would be a lot better. Uh, the vellum pocket with this lovely tag. Really enjoyed um, those. Should definitely do them again. Little cluster there. The decoupage, the little thing there. Side tuck. Love these. Little pocket. page kit page little pocket yep little kit page uh, kit journal card and that's one of the ones from the Roxy challenge So you stay there. Doily stenciled paper. That's a lovely forget me not. Love that on, on that paper. The little pocket with the forget me not in. And that one. Let's see if I've done this one. No. I'm going to say I knew I'd checked uh, one and it was fine. So that's the, the piece. And then a little library card behind there. Another little cluster. 
uh, book page and this belly band and this one again let's have a look at the card in this one and the other side of that look what's in here yeah I've got, of course it's not going to come out ah. that's it it's coming out oh goldfinch one of my favorite birds so I pop that back in there I'm going to put it in upside down I think I could do with uh, reinforcing that a little bit so that's that, that's the other side of the collage and then we've got this pocket <coughs> with a pre journal card. Oh, I like that with a lined uh, paper. I'm surprised I didn't put a bird on it or a stamp, I must have just uh, forgotten. And, oh look at that one, oh, that's lovely. Right, that goes there and then the back there so that is both of those i will call this a uh, big window um, and this one will be little window so if they haven't been uh, purchased before um then they will be up in the etsy shop if you're seeing this on sunday because I don't know if they'll, this video will go up on the Sunday or the Monday. Uh, they will be going up on the Monday. So, thank you very much for joining me. I really uh, enjoyed these. And the next journals that I'll be working on is the Woodland Fairy ones. So, I have started uh, making uh, one up. And then I shall do another um, on film. But it will probably be a, a shortened version. Okay, that's it. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.